Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find an hyperplane with the maximum margin for the given data set using SVM classifier. In the previous videos, I have discussed SVM classifier and I have solved examples using SVM classifier. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, two examples and two features. The first example belongs to class 1 and second example belongs to class minus 1 in this case. We need to apply the SVM algorithm on the top of this uh, given data and then we need to find the hyperplane with the maximum margin in this case. So in this case, so we have been given two examples, hence uh, the value of n is equal to 2 here. The first uh, example is represented with uh, x1 vector and second one is represented with x2 vector in this case. The first example belongs to class uh, plus 1 here. So y1 is equal to plus 1 and second one belongs to minus 1. That's the reason y2 is equal to minus 1 in this case. The equation for SVM classifier is given by f of uh, x1 vector is equal to the weight vector multiplied by the input uh, vector minus the bias here. Now, uh, we need to calculate the weight vector as well as the bias here because we know the input but we don't know the weight vector as well as the bias here. Now, to calculate this uh, weight and bias, uh, we need to find the values of uh, two variables in this case because there are two examples are there. We need to find the values of these two variables that is alpha 1 and alpha 2. So, alpha vector is equal to alpha 1 and alpha 2 in this case. While calculating uh, the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2, we need to uh, consider these conditions. The first condition is the first example belongs to a plus 1, second one belongs to the minus 1 here. So, the first one will be considered as uh, uh, plus alpha 1, second one will be considered as uh, minus alpha 2 here. And uh, we need to equate uh, these two things to uh, 0 here. That is nothing but alpha 1 minus alpha 2 is equal to 0. This is plus alpha 1 because it belongs to positive class. It belongs to negative class. That's the reason uh, minus alpha 2 here. So, once you solve this equation, you will get alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 here. And in all cases, uh, all variables should be greater than 0 here. So, that is the one more condition we need to consider here. The first step of uh, SVM algorithm, we need to find the values of uh, alpha 1 and alpha 2. Uh, to calculate the values of alpha 1 and alpha 2, we use this equation. Phi of alpha vector is equal to summation of uh, alpha i, where i will go from 1 to n minus 1 by 2, summation of alpha i, alpha j, y i, y j, multiplied by x i vector dot product with x j vector, where the value of i will go from 1 to n and j will go from 1 to n in this case. Now, we will expand this equation. The first part of this equation will look uh, something like this. Uh, I will go from 1 to 2 here. That, that's the reason alpha 1 plus alpha 2 minus 1 by 2. The second part of equation uh, has uh, two variables i and j. In the first case, uh, i will be equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 here. So, that's the reason uh, the equation will look something like this. Alpha 1, alpha 1, y1, y1, uh, x1 vector dot product with x1 vector here. Second time, i will be equal to 1, but j is equal to 2 here. So, that's the reason the equation will look something like this. Next time, i will be equal to 2 and j will be equal to 1. The equation will look something like this. The fourth time, i equals to 2 and j equals to 2 the equation will look something like this. Now, we need to put the known values here. We do not know the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2. So, we re retain it as it is. Now, out of these things, we know the value of uh, y1, y1 here, x1 vector, x1 vector here. So, what is the value of y1? y1 is equal to plus 1 and uh, again y1 is equal to plus 1. So, I will put it here. Now, x1 vector dot product with uh, x1 vector. What is x1 vector here? That is uh, 2 comma 1. We need to dot product with again what? 2 comma 1 here. So, what is the dot product? The individual components are multiplied and then we will take the sum of all the components here. It will be written something like this. 2 into 2 plus 1 into 1 here. So, the same thing I have written it here. In this second part of this equation, uh, alpha 1 and alpha 2 were retained as it is. We know the value of uh, y1 that is plus 1. We know the value of uh, y2 that is minus 1. So, this is the x1 vector and this is x2 vector. So, do not get confused with this x1 and x2. These are the feature names and this is the input vector and this is second input vector. Now, if you take the dot product here, it will become 2 multiplied by 4 plus 1 multiplied by 3. That is what I have written here. Similarly, we have to write the values for the remaining two equations. The equation will look something like this. 
Once you simplify it, you will get uh, alpha 1 plus alpha 2 minus 1 by 2. Within square bracket, we will get 5 alpha 1 bra bracket square minus uh, 22 alpha 1 alpha 2 plus 25 alpha 2 square here. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2, which will maximize this particular equation here. So, now uh, how to calculate it? So, in, in this case, what we do here is uh, we will take this uh, consideration the alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2. So, first we will replace alpha 2 is equal to alpha 1. Now, once I replace it, this particular part alpha 1 plus alpha 1, it will become how much? 2 times alpha 1 here minus 1 by 2, 5 alpha 1 square minus 22 alpha 1 alpha 1 that is nothing but 22 alpha 1 square plus uh, 25 alpha 1 square so totally how many are there uh, these are 25 plus 5 30 minus uh, 22 that is 8 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 alpha 1 square here now as said earlier if you want to maximize this equation we have to take the differentiation of this particular equation now once you differentiate this equation with respect to, to alpha 1 it will become 2 times alpha 1 will become 2, 4 times alpha 1 square will become 2 will be multiplied to 4 here, it will become 8 and alpha 1 square will become uh, alpha 1 here and then we need to equate it to 0 and then we need to simplify this equation. Once I equate it to 0 and simplify it, alpha 1 will become 1 by 4 here. Similarly, the alpha 2 is also equal to 1 by 4 because alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 over here. Now, we will go to the step number 2. In step number 2, we will try to calculate the weight vector here with the help of uh, this equation. The weight vector is always equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to n alpha i y i x i vector here. Now, i will go from 1 to n that is nothing but the number of examples here. So, once you expand it, it will become in the first case i is equal to 1. So, alpha 1 y 1 x 1 vector. Second case i will be equal to 2 alpha 2 y 2 x 2 vector here. So, in this case, uh, we know all these values we will put it here alpha 1 is 1 by 4 y1 is plus 1 x1 vector is 2 comma 1 here alpha 2 is equal to again 1 by 4 y2 is equal to minus 1 x2 vector is equal to 4 comma 3 here now uh, we will multiply these things so once you take this uh, plus 1 inside it will become uh, 2 and then it will become 1 only once you take this minus 1 inside it will become minus 4 and minus 3 over here and I will take this uh, 1 by 4 outside. So, 1 by 4, uh, once I take 1 by 4 outside and then I simplify it. So, 2 minus 4 that will be equal to minus 2. 1 minus 3 again it will be equal to minus 2 here. So, the equation will look something like this. So, 1 by 4 minus 2 comma minus 2 here. Now, again once I simplify this particular thing, it will become minus 2 divided by 4 is equal to 1 divided minus 1 by 2 and minus 2 divided by 4 is equal to minus 1 by 2 here. So, the weight vector is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 in this case. So, we were able to calculate alpha 1, alpha 2 as well as the weight vector. The next thing what we need to calculate is the bias here. So, bias is always equal to 1 by 2 minimum of weight vector multiplied by input vector for all i where yi is equal to plus 1. The meaning is we need to consider only the input vectors with positive class plus maximum of weight vector multiplied by input vector for all i where y i is equal to minus 1 that is uh, we need to consider all those examples where we have the negative class in this case. So, first we will expand this equation. So, 1 by 2 this will be weight vector here uh, x 1 vector here because uh, uh, in this case uh, y i is equal to plus 1 when i is equal to 1. So, that is the reason I have taken x 1 vector here plus w vector x2 vector because yi is equal to minus 1 when i is equal to 2. So, that is the reason I have taken x2 vector here. Now, we need to put the values here. So, w vector is known to us, x1 vector, w vector and x2 vector. All the values are known to us. So, 1 by 2. So, this one w vector, x1 vector. What is w vector here? One, minus 1 by 2. So, minus 1 by 2 multiplied by this 2 here, minus 1 by 2 and this uh, uh, 1 here. So, that is what I have done in this case. Plus Weight vector is again minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So, minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 4 and second minus 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 here. Now, once I simplify this equation, I will get 1 by 2 multiplied by minus 10 by 2 here. Again, once I simplify it, I will get minus 5 by 2 in this case. 
Now we know the SVM classifier function that is f of x vector is always equal to weight vector multiplied by x input vector minus uh, b here. Uh, we will put these uh, calculated values. The weight vector is minus 1 by 2 comma minus 1 by 2 dot product with uh, x1 comma x2 minus bias is equal to minus 5 by 2 here. So this minus and this minus will get cancelled. It will become plus 5 by 2 over here. Now we will do the dot product between these two vectors here minus 1 by 2 x1 minus 1 by 2 x2 in this case. Uh, once we simplify this thing, we will get uh, a minus 1 by 2 x1 plus x2 minus uh, 5 in this case. So this is what uh, the equation in this case. Now we need to get uh, the maximum margin uh, hyperplane here. So that's the reason what we do is we will equate this uh, f of x vector is equal to 0. So once you equate it, uh, we will get minus 1 by 2 x1 plus x2 minus 5 is equal to 0 here. Now once you simplify it, we will get x1 plus x2 minus 5 is equal to 0. So this is the last or the final equation for the hyperplane with the maximum margin in this case. Now uh, we need to draw this uh, hyperplane uh, on a given uh, axis over here. So the first data point is uh, 2 comma 1, second data point is uh, 4 comma 3 here. Now, if you want to get the hyperplane with a maximum margin, it should be present exactly center. So, we'll try to check it out. So, if you want to get the midpoint over here, that is 2 plus 4 divided by 2, that is nothing but 3. And uh, 3 plus 1 divided by 2, that is 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 here. Now, if you put these two values in this equation, you can see here, 3 plus 2 minus 5 is equal to 0 here. The meaning of this one is, the hyperplane will pass through the midpoint between the two data points given to us that is perpendicular to the line between A and B over here. So this is how uh, we can uh, find the hyperplane with a maximum margin using uh, SVM classifier. I hope the concept of uh, SVM classifier is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.